financial accounting. We've been talking about the accounting equation, and we're looking at the pieces of the accounting equation, and we've talked about assets so far. Now let's look at liabilities. Liabilities are promises we've made to others. I promise I will pay you in the future. Uh, a nicer name or term, uh, definition of liabilities are responsibilities to others. So I think of liabilities as responsibilities to others, things that I have promised I will do in the future. Now, what kinds of accounts or types of things will you find in a business when we're talking about liabilities? Well, the first one you'll usually see is accounts payable. And accounts payable is when a business uses their credit card to pay for something instead of paying cash. So they're promising in the future to pay that bill. So it's called accounts payable. You and I might want to call it bills payable, but it's really called accounts payable. Um, you can have rent payable, utilities payable, um, all kinds of insurance payable, income tax payable. Um, all of these things say that I promise to pay those bills in the future. Uh, you could have notes payable. Now, notes payable says you've gone to the bank or some other financial institution and you've signed a piece of paper. So it's a little bit more enforceable uh, legal instrument than just accounts payable, which is like a monthly bill. Um, what if that note payable um, charges interest? Could you have interest payable? You bet. So that's the interest that you owe on the note, but you haven't paid it yet, but you promise you will. So these, as you can see, there's a theme here going that liabilities end in payable. Now there's one other kind of liability I want to share with you, and that has to do with when a customer pays for something, a good or a service, before they ever get it. And you say, well, who in their right mind would do that? Well, we do it all the time. It's called, um, I want to take a plane ride. So, for example, um, recently I went out and I bought a plane ticket to go to San Antonio, Texas. Well, that was good, except what did the airlines want from me before they would issue me a plane ticket? They wanted my what? credit card number, didn't they? So I gave them my credit card number and they got the cash for it. So they have the cash and they have given me in return a liability and that is called unearned revenue. In other words, the airlines has made a promise to me that they will give me a plane ride. And it will stay in this liability account called unearned revenue until they fulfill that promise and give me a plane ride. When they give me the plane ride, then they've earned the revenue and it leaves the liability account and goes into the revenues, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So unearned revenue means the customer has paid in advance for the good or the service and the company in return gives them a promise or is responsible to fulfill that in the future. When they do, they've earned the right to it. So I hope that makes sense. So liabilities and in payable are starting unearned.